Hello everybody, Frankie Day here for Frankie Day Models. All right, guys, I just got done finishing uh, appreciating my 124 scale Airfix Pocket Hurricane, and also I uh, put the sky on it. I got that all done. I'll, I'll show you real quick before we get started on the real deal here. Got all the pre shade on it, and I got the sky on, uh, done already. So tomorrow I should get the rest of our clothes on tomorrow. Weather drive for the night, fellas. You can't much paint work. Okay, put it right about there. Okay. This is going to be an inbox review. I just bought this kit about, I think last Wednesday or Thursday, no, last Thursday. Go down at Spitty's Hobby Shop and see no rust on this. How he's shaking. Now he's faring very, very well. Very concerned about me and uh, and uh, how I'm holding up and uh, and, uh, just, and I told him I hold up pretty well. So pretty good. I'm having some bad problems, but he didn't have no idea that my wife passed away or uh, I had to move. He was wondering why I haven't been around for a while, so I told him. And uh, he introduced me to the, this kit here. I want to show you. This is the Airfix 148 Submarine Walrus Mark One Silver Wings. This is the shipboard carrier based, uh, not carrier based, but pilot by the battleship, probably. Uh, observation float plane that they had it, that, that English used. As far as I'm concerned, they, they all use walruses. And, uh, very beautiful airplane indeed. Okay, I just get some cup of coffee, Coca Cola, or beer, or a shot of whiskey, whatever. Whatever ails your thirst and ails your pleasures. And uh, stick by here, just watch me for the next 45 minutes to an hour on this inbox review of this uh, beautiful kit. Okay, right now, I'm going to get this camera up here. I'm going to get it all focused right now so we can be able to uh, review the kit together. I've never. Open it up. So that's a special treat for tonight. We all get to see together and share the love of this wonderful kid. Okay, camera's down, action's coming down. All righty, guys. There we go. Here it is right here. This is the Walrus, 148 scale. And we'll open up the box. And what we're going to do, I'll lay this box up here. I get the instructions and paint schedule. Get this all in hand. I put this box over here so I can be able to lay the screws into it. Okay. Let me get this mouse out of the way. I got gear and drift here all over the place. Okay. First of all, we're going to look at the paint schedule. We give you. Uh, Two deliveries on this thing. They gave you the number 715 flight HMS Comic U, Timic U, Cumberland. I'm sorry, fellas. 1937. So I imagine the delivery of this paint schedule was probably all natural aluminum. But as the war progressed, they got they went back to uh, extra dark sea gray. Sky and slate gray, almost like the Barracuda. And I give you this all humble paints here, all humble, all colors. Aluminum number 11. I've got number 11 over here somewhere. I got it again. What was it? Look at that. Number 11. Oh, there you are. 
right here. Number 11. This is silver paint. I don't know, fellas. I ain't too keen on these acrylic sprays by Humbro. They seem like to me they don't go on like the way I want to. So I got a better idea. I'm going to deviate from that number 11 paint by Humbro. I'm going to go ahead and use this color over here. Blue blazes is that stuff, man. I've never cared for nothing. Oh. I'm going to use this here. This is by uh, Vallejo Acrylic. He even has a shaking ball in there. You don't add no water to this stuff. This goes right to the airbrush. <coughs> you got a shaker ball in there, like a like a like a rattle can. So it mixes up all the pigments along with the the feather they use in there. You won't go for that. This thing is all overall aluminum. And you got colors like uh, matte yellow, dark green, you got black thirty-three, gun matte fifty-three, and you got Cockpit color number 78, which I have right about over here somewhere. What the devil is it? Boy, I tell you, I ain't no Boy Scout. I had it in my hand yesterday. Here it is right in front of my face. Right there. Number 78, that's cockpit color. And, uh, Dark green goes for the bombs. The plane overall is all aluminum. This is the English uh, liver right here, fellas. This is off the uh, the the, uh, the coupling. And uh, next livery. is the fish markets. It too has the paint, same paint schedule as the Royal Navy's uh, the Walrus, as the first uh, livery we say. It's all natural aluminum and uh, no bombs. I mentioned the bombs are optional. Nope. They carry bombs on the. Uh, On the other sides of the wings. That's a color guide right there. So you go by this here. This is how your paint schedule is. So it's, can't go wrong, guys. Get yourself some liquidizer or some kind of acrylic paint or something. Just paint a natural aluminum. We'll put that in there. Again, Airfix gives you a good booklet right here. As you can see right here, this is the uh, complete airplane when it's done. Now, this airplane does give you an option as kit. It gives you an option of uh, wings folded for carry for uh, storage because they're all, because they, uh, all English battleships, they got hangar bays there. I mean, we have also on the uh, on cruisers, like the Augustus class, the Cleveland class, they all had hangar bays and the wings would fold and they put them in the hangar bays. Okay. There's typical air fix instructions, all bilingual. Nothing to phone home on. And you got your assembly instructions right here. Right here, you have your, uh, your cockpit floor. And it calls a 78 right here, which is cockpit green. And uh, this is all your interiors right in here. The one piece bottom hull section, I think. Looks like to me it is. Yes, it is. And you got your catwalk aft here, which fits the top of your hull. That too is of a 78. So all your interior is 78. I don't know how many steps this airplane comes down to, so I imagine it's probably down to, uh, well, let's see, Bodie. 
107 steps. A lot of parts. Okay. Now I've got a quarter inch scale of this somewhere. I think it's in my story. Just by a company called Schmer. S-M-E-R. It's a scale 150. Kind of crude model, but it's okay. This here is more superior. Okay, next page over here is step uh, six. Starts at step six, seven, it ends in 13. You got more interior, more interior parts. Man, this thing is a beautiful kit. The detail they capture. Air fix just gets better all the time. So this is all your interior parts right here. As you can see, that they got your color callouts, 78. You got 56, which is uh, aluminum. And you got 85, is cold black. That'd be for your yoke. Uh, that'd be for your wrappings on your yoke. And uh, going back to step 15 over here, ends on 12. We got more interior parts. It looks like to me there's a there's a way how this thing fits. It shows you right here. This is wrong. And this is right. So when you put that, uh, I imagine that bottom ring right there probably goes to that to a um, to a turtle opening or something. And uh, that's got to be placed flush. You can't be can't be askewed or cockeyed. So you got a little station here. It shows you how to do it right. And you got your windows, they fit inside. Wow. They got to be masked off too before you do your painting. No problem. Okay. We're moving right along here, fellas, the instructions. What's this? Uh, huh. This is new to me. There's like another color schedule here. This is the rigging plan here they give you. Use music wire, fellas. Don't use sprue or monofilament. Just use big because these are steel flight uh, steel control cables. These uh, these cape these are these are nothing but polished steel, and uh, they the uh, they show out a lot more pronounced that way than than using uh, the the usual. Well, over here, it looks like another option to give you a kit. So you got three options, guys. This is like it is probably uh, this is the this is the Irish, the Irish version. So I imagine you got a little decal. So you got this tank. This kit comes with three liveries. Now we all learned that together. And again, this is your rigging plan here. So all your flight wires that goes up to your struts, cable struts, interplane struts, is all is all boldly done in red right here. You can't go wrong. Okay. All right. Back to the instructions. Starting out with twenty-two. It's a closer of the fuselage. So once the fuselage is closed in. Got your top. That's that piece right there. You got to make sure that turret goes on there. Flush. You can't be asked you to cock It's got to be flush. That's the top deck, your turtle deck, the top of your top of the fuselage. You got a little seat right here. I imagine it's functional up and down where, they, where you can sit down or you can stand up, grab a buoy or something. And you got your control console that fits underneath here. And uh, there's your bull nose right here. That's where you hook up your your cable. And we're going on, fellas. We're going on. Step 29. You got a cable hill, cable wheel right here. I imagine that goes to the buoy line. Hook up to a buoy or something. 
or they can pull the board to carry or something. Uh, anyway, that's a it's a cable wheel there. It fits up there by the bow by the balance of it fits at. And uh, so that's just a cable right there, or a rope wheel. It's a rope wheel. Goes up to a buoy. Might be an anchor in there too. It's probably an anchor inside. That. That's probably an anchor line. We don't know, guys. You know more about this as you build the model. Okay, you got your tail wheel back here. This is the closure of your top of your fuselage right here. And this part here is already assembled from the previous assembly right here. Man, that thing is uh, detailed like you can believe. Now, here's an option right here. You can either have the either tail wheel by itself, or you can have stats on it. A tail wheel cover. They're optional. Choice is yours. Okay, start at step 33 is the undercarriage. The undercarriage and these things were retractable. The things in that they'd be, they either uh, land on land or they land in the water. And uh, the other carriage, I guess, it snaps inside the fuselage right here. And here's your wheel tires right here. We got an illustration right here. You can take a saw or something and cut part of that tire off here, make it like like it's resting on the ground. This is for the wheels down, guys. So imagine it's not your wheels up or down. Okay, this thing must use a Pegasus engine, I think. Right here is your, it looks like right here, this is your, your motor mount that fits on the cowling. And right here, your struts fit inside here to the motor mount. Here's an option here. I think it's exhaust system they use. Exactly. You got an option exhaust system, optional ex exhaust system on here. So you got to figure out what you're going to use on that. I haven't figured out yet. In completion of assembly, you got your cabin struts to hook up to your engine cowling, and you got your your real tail, your real fairing appendage at this aft. And it shows right here. Finally, it's glued. On top of the turtle deck of the fuselage. Step 47. You got your stabilizer. And you got your, uh, right here, it looks like to me, it's some kind of a fairing right here. It fits on the, some kind of fillet it fits up there. And uh, you got your stabilizer struts. They're there. They're, they installed from the side of the fuselage up to the bottom of your horizontal stabilizer. You got 28 degrees right here. I imagine when they 28% of the center, how much how much incense they got when they lower the stabilizer for flight. 27 degrees for the rudder. So here's your rudder assembly. It includes that. Includes that. Okay, got to move right along here. Yeah, 64, the wings. This is how the wings are, is an option. Either you can have them folded, 
or you can have them in flight configuration as this described right here. So you got an option there. Okay. And this page right here. This front of carriage jet wheels up. It shows you how you uh, attach your Got a carriage struts inside the fuselage and holes inside that well. And you got your float assembly out of those. You remember the wings are already on now. This is uh, in the air. Or you can have them on the ground for your, your wheels. You know, it's optional. Here's your peck assistance, your engine assembly. Calls out for silver, silver color. And uh, the coal black for your push rods. You got your exhaust system that goes in there and plugs right in front of the engine cowl that's previously installed in the last step there. Oh boy, right across the decal, hot dog. We'll get that in a second, guys. We'll say that gutty last before we get to the spruce. Okay, step 82. Got your Bowsman gun right there in place. You either have a field with a cover that fits on top. Or it could be open. So I imagine he takes the cover off and probably folds it up and pulls it inside, tries it up the side. You got an option right here. You got an option on step 82 all the way up to step 83. For the bowsman, you either, either you put a transparency right here, which fits the top of here, to close off, or you can have it open. With a gun sticking out, with your 30 caliber gun that they use. Here's a transparency piece, fits on the reflector at the end of the, uh, this is the window reflector, it fits the back of the turret. And you got your window right there, it fits in place there. There's an option there too, either it's closed, as seen right here, or it's open. Move down to step 48, they chose the open position. Step 85, you got your twin propellers mounted on top of each other. 86, 87, the installation of your prop. And right here it shows you how it's got to be in place right here. So you can't go wrong with it. This is a wonderful, beautiful kit. It's beautifully designed and it should be no fuss at all to put together. And no, no fit of the parts either. Okay, step 88, down to step 89. There's an option here on the, the cockpit here. You can either have it open with the, uh, you have it open as it is, and be closed as is, or this step here, you have it open so you can see the insides of it. Just leave that glass out of there. Now imagine they give you two different cockpits. They give you a probably, we'll get to the sprues. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking on. They probably give you a cockpit for the, for the uh, open cockpit, where the windows are uh, pulled back, or the closed one. Okay, should we move right along, guys? Step 89. You got some miscellaneous or some of these parts right here. I don't know what that is. That could be a kind of P top tube. I don't know. And uh, of course, you got your up here. You probably have your antennae fits up there. Step ninety. There's a symbol of the bottom wing. This is for the folding wings, fellas. That's why you've got these little logos right here, icons right here, shows you that the wings are, are folded back. So this is the fold the wing section here. I'm not gonna fold my wings. I'm just gonna leave this to leave them out. And uh, so this is the assembly of the folding wings. Okay. So except 94. The 97. They show you how it's attached and everything. 
You got your ailerons on there, your flaps. And there they are on step number 99. And uh, that's how it goes in there, like this. So this is insulation of your bottom wings. This is option number two. You look good if you have a, a diorama inside of a hangar bay of a, of a battleship. Like King George V. Okay, here's the armament. There's the bombs. Five fifty pound bombs, I surmise. Fifty five to hundred pound bombs. Got your bomb racks beneath the wings here. These are some of your bombs, also your depth charge. Here's again, here's your float assembly. At step 108 right here, this is your final step. This is it. In the folding wing configuration. That's what it looks like, fellas. If you decide you want to fold your wings. And over here, you can have them like this. And that this I'm going to make mine. Or you can make it this way. Okay, decal sheet. Next. Oh, I think the carrier sheet off here. These are the decals they give you. You have the Irish regiment right here. You got France right here. And you got the RAF right here. And these stencils are here are common to all aircraft. Oh, yeah, there's that's a, that's a panel right here in the car. Nice decals. They're by, uh, No, kind of thing, just airfish decals. They're, they're, they're super. They're good. All right, guys, now we get to the fun part now. Yep. Boy, a lot of parts here, buddy. A lot of parts. Here's your clear parts. I was right. They give you two different canopies right here. One for the closed version and one that for it's open. Beautiful touch. Real beautiful touch. Of course you got all your side windows, observers windows, you got your your gunner's windows right there, and your uh, also acts like a reflector too when when it prices up. You got your decals here, your landing lights there. Beautiful. Superb. This is beautiful. Man, this gets gorgeous. Man. That, those rivets are very subtle. Beautiful looking rivets. And inside there's your interiors. Very detailed there. You got your red thing inside there, interior colors. So you got to take that 78 colors. Don't forget that. And I don't know what these devils are. These are your landing flaps right here. And these are the bottom of your pontoons. Okay. The detail and the rivets that thing is spot on. Okay, here's the Pegasus engine. Here's the engine cowling on this screw here. This is all in this is all part of your engines right here. Here's your ballsman tricycle seat right here, he sits on. Here's your catwalk, your full catwalk. Here's all your bulkheads in here. Pilot's yoke. And that's some kind of a piping. I don't know what it is. I thought that was an anchor. Here's your seats. This is a davit. For some other reason, I don't know. Here's your seats here. Probably for the radio operator. 
Here's your prop, here's your push rods, here's your engine cylinders, here's your back of your manifold. Oh, beautiful. It just gets better all the time. About six brews, this thing persists on this kit does. I thought it'd be more than that. This is the first time I opened it up, that was really good. Okay, and this brew here contains your undercarriage, your tires. Here's the option for your your, your turret, your rear turret. It goes up this way and like, acts like a wind reflector. And your cable struts, interplane struts. Uh, here's your tail wheel. Here's a bomb with the option right there with the stats on it. Here's your Browning 30 caliber chain guns here they use. 50 pound bomb. And you get your depth charges right here. Oh yeah, here's your wings. I know it's top, there's a top wing. Here's your spar, that's for in flight. This copy of the T-Slide with a thousand fits at. This probably fits this to the center section of the wing where the wings fold. But this here, I don't know what this is. Oh, I know exactly what it is. That's where the wings fit on there. That's a spar right there where the wing fits on. That was seen on the instruction. So that's that sprue here. Okay, fellas, we got one, we got one more sprue left. And that concludes the unbox of you with this kit. And then I'll finish up the video by summarizing in the, the overview of the kit. Okay, this is the bottom wing. These must be your flaps right here. You had to know your ailerons. Here's your stabilizer. Here's your, sta here's your stabilizer. I saw one piece too. Not halves. Here's your rudder, your cam. Here's your pontoons. Here's that fairing I was talking about. That must be some kind of a, some kind of a string that they use. Probably the strength of the, uh, the stabilizer. I don't know. But we'll get into it as I build a model. That's about the conclusion of it. Inside a catwalk right here. Well, top, this is the top of your turtle deck here. Very detailed. This thing is true. Like I say, Airfix must have got a plan for this thing. And uh, another tip, fellas, when you guys take parts out of these bags, before you discard these bags in the trash can, always shake and look at them. Because I've made a few mistakes in my lifetime and take them out of these bags. And of course will fall in there and you're overzealous and look at the kit. And you take this and you throw it away and it's gone. But it comes time to miss, build a kit and go, hey, where is that part at? It's missing it. Then you go, wow, I better go back and trash that, pull that bag out, you'll find it. But always check this bag before you throw it out. And keep this waste for kids, fellas. An old trick. You'd be surprised a little toddler to get into. Put this over here. Put a trash can right there. Bring the kid over here. And uh, here it is, fellas. Pick one of these up for yourselves. If you really, if you really like it. It's a good kit. It's enjoyable. An overview of the kit. It, uh, it's a very gorgeous kit. That's Fort Day McKinney. And it, it makes a very good collection to uh, uh, to uh, fellows out there who are interested in float planes or just something different. I really like this airplane. It's very, really, it's very beautiful. It's clean. Okay, All right there's going to conclude the conclusion of this uh, inbox review. I'll take the camera and put it back to your shooting at the end of the video.
Okay. So I got a little collection of squirts behind me, as you can see. Uh, I got them all there. I got my Barracuda. I got the Ducky. I got the TV Devastator. I got the Helldiver. And uh, start to look airplane here now, guys. That's how I like it. Okay, that's the conclusion of the unbox review of the Airfix 148 scale Supermarine Wallace Mark I Silver Wings. I imagine they make two, they make the same kit but different deliveries. Now, I've seen one dot smooth one time that was all XRC sea gray, slate gray, and a sky. No duck ink blue. And, uh, this is all natural aluminum, so it's just one color. You can't go wrong. So use that metalizer. Don't use that. Uh, it's up to you, fellas, whatever you want to use, you know. So fine with those ribs right there. I hate to find this thing. But I will give it a mist of uh, a metalizer. Let it seal a little bit. Put a little tooth. I'll go ahead and paint it out. Okay. This is it, fellas. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. And uh, I like this format here. It's a lot better to use my camera I got over there. And uh, that way I can control it this way. And uh, there's no time limit. I, I can, I can, uh, I can ramble for hours. That camera, I can't. It's got an occupancy time of one hour. But it's got 20 minutes timing. So you got 20, so 20 minutes goes up. Boom, goes to another frame. And another frame will start as you start to talk. And I don't have no editing tools to break all, all down to one video, so I figured this is a lot more wiser, a lot better. It's high definition camera. It does equally well as the other one. And I'm happy, and it works. Okay, I'm getting out of here right now. Make mama happy. Take care of the little ones. Take care of yourselves. Stay focused. Spend wisely, fellas. God bless you all. And please be safe out there and watch yourself as you're out there in this world out there. And to buy yourself a model, like Stu says, get kick crazy. Get yourself some kits. Work on them because we got winter coming up. This is the end of August coming up, guys. Next week is going to be September. And things will be changing along with the weather. And talking about weather, I got to prepare this trailer for. Uh, but one, I got that bubble wrap and also seal all these windows off around here because this place is going to be an ice box. But I know it is. It's going to be an ice box. Very, very cold. So I'm going to butt down the hatches. We're going to go ahead and get all these windows secured and uh, prepare for winter and build models. Well, I've got a lot coming up this winter time. I got a lot, real, real lot. Okay, I'm out of here right now, guys. So stay posted tomorrow for uh, I may have a video tomorrow about Hawker Hurricane because I'll go off work tomorrow. I'll go ahead and put the clothes on and I'll make a video of that. So it'll be video number one or two. I don't know. So I'm thinking Dave's getting tuckered right now, I'm getting a little tired. And so if we uh, hit the part second, I'll get tired of that. I really am. And I'm going to get out of here right now. Okay, guys, stay posted tomorrow for uh, for the Hucker Hurricane, Air 20, 124 scale. I think this is going to be uh, Mr. Warren Blanche. It's going to be his, uh, I think he's got a Battle of Britain group field going on. I don't know. I got to get a hold of Warren. I haven't got a hold of him for a while. And uh, that's going to be his about my entry for him. It's going to be, this is my second bill on YouTube of this here kit, Airfix 124 Hurricane. You follow. I love it. Okay, guys. Right now, this is Frankie Day of Frankie Day Models. And uh, time for you to get out of here right now. And uh, I'm gone. I must have said that. I must have said that a thousand times. <laughs> Okay, boys, catch you tomorrow for the hurricane uh, update. Bye, boys. Take care of yourself. God bless you all. I love you guys.